Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I am just bringing you a quick video with a kind of overview of the holiday collection that is launching October 1st, so this coming Saturday night um, into Sunday morning at midnight Pacific Standard Time. I like to stay up uh, late for these kind of harvest and holiday type launches. I just like to make sure I get first dibs on all the stock before anything has a chance to sell out even. So I stay up late and uh, order then. I do have a large party to close out that I'm excited to use some rewards on. And so yeah, I thought we'd just kind of go through this holiday brochure. You will have these in the mail to you um, right away here. But because the collection does launch on the 1st, I thought we'd go through it together in a video as well. Because the mail outs probably won't arrive before, well they won't arrive before the holiday collection launches. So because the brochures took a while to ship and then arrive, I wasn't able to get them out to, to customers and people in time for you to see them for the launch. So. We're going to go through them in a video. You'll have paper copies on the way if you're one of my customers who has purchased in the last few months. Um, but yeah, so I thought we'd just kind of sit and go through these. I also wanted to say a huge, huge thank you before we get started. I had a very, very successful month with Sensi this month, and that is all thanks to the people that support me in this in this little adventure. Um, so all of my customers, all my viewers, thank you. Um, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for all of you, so thank you. Um, so yeah, I am now Superstar Consultant. Yay. So I really do appreciate getting to know all of you here on YouTube and on social media and just through email and text message and stuff. And um, yeah, all of your support in all of this and my wonderful teammates. Um, there's, they're just wonderful people and I love chatting with them and getting to know them as well. Um, but yeah, so thank you. So at the end of the video, I do have another thing and I don't know where to put this thing because it's not really a haul. I can't do a whole haul video for it because it's just one thing. But I have the Dumbo brick here, soar high in the sky. So I will chat about this at the end of the video because it comes out on October 9th. So after this stuff, this stuff comes out first, then this comes out October 9th on Canadian Thanksgiving. So I'll do like a kind of like cold sniff review of that at the end of the video. So holiday collection. If you're a US customer, you'll be receiving a US brochure with US pricing. The items are all the same for US and Canada. Um, just pricing is different. Um, and yeah, if you're a Canadian customer, you'll get a Canadian brochure. I'm holding a Canadian one because that's where I am. So here we are. Um, we have the first page that says Sense of Wonder. And we have the Sense. Now I've already done warm reviews on these. I've warmed them all. I like them all. Um, and I have reviews up on how they did in my house. If you go back to my videos. So yeah, they have the five pack with a little bag. And we've kind of talked about that already. So I won't spend too much time on that. But we have Cherry's Jubilee, which is a super kind of fruity cherry scent. Vanilla, vanilla Barnwood, which is kind of a soft, cozy vanilla scent. Rum Pum Plum, which is a bakery plum jam scent. Cranberry Candy Cane, which is a very balanced mint and cranberry type scent. And Sleigh Ride, which is kind of a like berry, berry tree scent. Very sweet kind of pine. Then we have on the bottom here some warmers. We have the one that's on the cover. This one's featured on the cover. This one is called Snowed In. And it's like a little house. I'll use this picture because it's bigger. It is glittery and it looks to be like a pressed tin glitter warmer. Now we had a similar one to this a year or two ago. It was a gingerbread house, kind of along the same format, but it didn't have any of the yard at all. It was just the house. And I think if you have that gingerbread warmer, this might pair well with it on like the same table or on the same shelf or something like that, or in the same room. So if you have that gingerbread warmer, you may be interested in that one. Um, yeah, so that one is a 25 watt metal warmer, 25 centimeters tall. So there's that. There's also three mini warmer options on this page. We have the Christmas Camper, which I believe, I think it comes with a red light bulb. This is a 15 watt mini warmer, like they all are, 15 watt mostly. And that is new this year. We've had the full size one of this in the past. So if you want a mini, there is the mini one new this year. Um, we also have Gnome for the holidays. This one I do have. This one has a little cutout in the back of his head, um, so the, the hat doesn't come off. It's just kind of hollow on the back and you can put your wax in. And it's just a little ceramic one. So there's him. And then Pine for Plaid is one that's also returning. This is a 15 watt glass mini warmer. And it's kind of a frosted glass with kind of a plaid pine tree. Then we have Vintage Vibes. Now these are some cute ones on this page. So we have Retro Reindeer, which is an element warmer, ceramic. Now I was gonna get this from my daughter's room and then I remembered I got her the Disney holiday warmer on clearance in the summer. 
So she has a warmer for her room for Christmas already. But I'm thinking I do have host rewards and I kind of might want to get this for our bedroom because I do not have a holiday warmer that can, can be used in our bedroom because I only use element warmers in our room because I, I like the fact that they don't have a light. So this one does not light up at all. It's an element. So this is perfect for a bedroom, either a kid's room or even your own room potentially. So I'm probably going to get this for our bedroom. And I do something similar in our bedroom. I have a little like white cake stand on my nightstand that I put our warmer on just to kind of save um, save surface area. And I find like nightstands, you're always like tossing stuff on there. So at least I am, I don't know. Um, this kind of keeps it from getting like stuff tossed onto it or into it. So that it just kind of elevates it a bit and keeps more surface area available on your nightstand and keeps stuff away from it. So there's that. Um, then we have Jolly Old St. Nick. This is also ceramic, but it's kind of like a um, like a vintage finish. So it's quite farmhouse chic style. That one is a 20 watt ceramic warmer. So it's a 20 watt bulb in there. And he does have the hat that would lift off the dishes underneath. And then there's holes in the hat for the uh, scent to come out. So there's that one. This one, I can't speak to the performance of it because I don't know. This is a new warmer this year. But if I had to guess, this is probably going to be one of those ones where it's not the awesomest performer. So if it's the only warmer you're going to have in a room, maybe not the best choice. Um, but if you're going to have this just as a decorative piece with one or two other warmers in a room, you're going to be fine. So it'll probably throw fine, but it may not be like the strongest of the strong, is what I'm trying to say. Um, then we have two new snowmen. We have a mini and a full size, and they are cute. These are kind of reminding me of the same style of like hand-blown glass as the um, stacked jack-o'-lanterns, which I have over here behind me, those ones there. Um, this kind of reminds me of the same style. It's kind of got the, it doesn't really show it in this picture, but when you see the lit pictures of this on our consultant workstation, it almost has like slight swirls, like very slight swirls in the glass. They're not super evident, but and not as evident as they are in the witches, the stacked jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but they are kind of there in the photos. So there's the mini and the full size. They do have material scarves and they're super, super cute. It looks like the face is kind of also glass from what I can tell. I'm not positive on that, but it looks like it's just kind of glass pieces. So yeah, there's that. The full size warmer is a 25 watt glass and the mini is again a 15 watt. Then we have the Gingerbread Man tabletop diffuser. We had a mini warmer in this style last year and for the last couple of years um, in this style. This is not the mini warmer. This is a tabletop fan diffuser. So that is kind of a new product this year. Um, so super fun if you want something kind of festive to put your pods in, there is that. I believe it does hold two and it is a yeah, ceramic piece. Then we have pods. We have three cents. They do not come as a bundle. You can bundle and save them however you want or you can buy them individually. Um, they are cranberry candy cane sleigh ride and vanilla barnwood so those are the three scents they've chosen to make in pods for the holidays um we also have some buddy items we have gretchen the gingerbread bear who is super cute she's wearing like a little like dressy coat um it's hard to see in the picture but yeah she does include a scent pack as do all of our buddies we also have the yeti buddy travel pillow also includes a scent pack and there it is this is kind of like the unicorn one that we had in the summer, except this one is kind of fluffy. So it's a fluffier version. Um, as I had someone ask me whether these can be used for adults. So when we went on a road trip in the summer, I had the unicorn one for my daughter. Um, it worked on her great. She's six, so she's a child. Um, these do have a little snap closure that you can snap around your neck to keep it on. It did not close very well on me. I could close it, but it kind of felt choky. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily do it up on myself, but I do have a thicker neck than most people. So it's very possible that it would fit on an average adult. Um, but for children, absolutely. And that being said, I just didn't do up the neck thing and then it worked great. So if you are an adult and want to use this, it will most likely work just fine. You may or may not be able to do up the snap comfortably. So there's that. Um, there's also the little Yeti buddy clip. There he is. And what scent is he in? So the Yeti travel pillow, you pick a scent pack of your choice, whatever scent you want. The buddy clip, it comes with a scent. You can't pick the scent. It is polar bear hug, which I think is a super cute scent for that. It is blackberry jam, brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. It's a sweet, cozy, kind of clean, soft scent. It kind of reminds, it's a good like little kid scent for me. 
like a little kid's bedroom. It's just very soft and clean. Then we have the Disney page, celebrate Christmas with Disney. And we have a new holiday Disney warmer this year. For the last couple years, we've had a like Christmas tree Disney warmer and it's beautiful and it lights up. This year we have an element warmer that does not light up from what I can tell. And it is the sleigh, but look how detailed that is. You put your wax cubes in the element warmer at the back of the sleigh. And it just kind of is such a pretty decorative piece. This would go so well in like Christmas villages um, or any of like your decor pieces that way. So cute. So they do have a sleigh just like this in Disneyland or Disney World. I'm not sure which one, but I've seen pictures of the actual sleigh and it's, it's very cool that they've replicated it so well. There's also the Disney Mag Season of Magic Bar coming back. So this was first released, I think a couple, couple winters ago. This one is sugar crystals, frosty icicles, sweet pine, and wild berries. This is one of those pine tree scents that isn't sharp. It's not astringent. It is kind of a soft, sweet pine scent. Um, very approachable, a little bit grassy. It's very fresh and soft. Um, but a medium strength, medium performer. I would recommend that one if you like tree scents. And even if you don't, you may enjoy that one. Because I know I'm not a big tree scent person myself, but I actually quite enjoy Season of Magic. Um, then we have Stitch. He's new. He's a stitched Santa buddy. Santa Disney Stitch Scentsy Buddy. So he's eating Santa's hat. He's also wearing a Santa hat and he's got Christmas lights zigzagging all over the place. So there he is and you get to pick a scent pack again. Yep. And you can also purchase the scent pack and the bar separately. So the scent is Stitch Experiment 626, which is a scent we've had before. Usually in the summer it comes out. I think we had it back this summer too. This is Valencia Orange, Pineapple Nectar, Sugar Cane, and Sea Salt Mist. And this one is such a good summer scent. Um, interesting they brought it back for Christmas time, but I mean, I guess they're trying to throw the people who don't like Christmas scents a bone. Or if you live somewhere hot and you don't want all the spice and the pine trees and all of that, um, 626 is a good one. So yeah, it is like a very fruity, beachy, just fun scent and so strong. Like if you want an open layout worthy scent, Stitch 626 is it. It is a Boomer performer, super, super strong. So there is that one. Then we have Make Spirits Bright. This one is the diffuser shade. We usually do get a diffuser shade um, for the premium diffusers at the holidays. This is this year's. And now again, your diffuser base will have different light options. It can go through white lights or any variety of colors. So you will see the light color that you choose shine through the little speckles in the shade and I believe it is real glass yeah it is glass so there's that and you can purchase that either just the shade or you can purchase it with the warmer base depending on if you have a base already if you already have the warmer base just get the shade and save yourself some money um, we also have frosted gems which is a new mini warmer in glass and it's very very pretty it's much more detailed than it looks I think I'm trying to get a good shot of it but yeah it looks like it might be kind of like a frosted glass but it looks almost like that it looks almost like that um, when you spray that like stuff that ices your windows. It's almost like frosted windows, like icy windows with like a glittery snowflake with little rhinestones. I think the lines are glitter and I think the rhinestones are shimmery. So there is that. Then we have the All Holiday Oil 3-pack. They always do an oil 3-pack for festive releases. So this is 5 milliliters each. So it's Three. There's Good For Goodness Sake, which is coconut milk, white peach nectar, and buttered caramel. There's Holly Jolly Jingle, which is bergamot, cardamom, and vanilla. And there's Soft and Subtle Cuddles, which is iris, golden amber, and sandalwood. So none of these scream holiday to me, but they do sound like they're going to be very nice, cozy, wintry scents. So there are the holiday scents. And that is kind of nice because oils tend to last a while. And you don't necessarily want one that's going to be just super, super Christmas specific. Um, these I think you can very comfortably and very pleasantly warm all season long. So nice that they've done that this year. That's cool. Um, then we have Fabulous Flurry. And this is again a new one this year. And this one I think is going to be underrated. This one is a 20 watt glass. And on first glance you're like, eh, it's a snowflake warmer, whatever. But like the more I look at this and the more I see pictures of this, the more I really, really like this. Um, there's just something about this. It's got a bit of a frostiness to it, a bit of a softness to it. I'm trying to like cut the glare from my window there. It's just soft and glowy and it looks like the glass here is frosted so you're not going to see the bulb glare through it as much as maybe you would with other warmers. 
And I just, I like that. And I do think this with a colored bulb, even like a purple bulb or a pink bulb in like a bedroom, or with a red bulb or a green bulb or even a blue bulb, depending on your Christmas decor color scheme, that's gonna be so pretty, especially with colored bulbs. But even in the white, that is just glowy and beautiful and elegant. So I think, especially for gifting, this one I think would go in almost any home and it's just gorgeous. So for gifting especially, I think that's a winner. Um, so yeah, then we have a few mini warmers on the bottom here and another big one. So we have a Hanukkah one. This is Light the Menorah and it's a 15 watt glass. Comes with a blue bulb. So there's that. We have this one, which has been very popular in past years. This is Rejoice and it's a 15 watt ceramic. And it's kind of a like nativity set type warmer and it's a very pretty one. Then we have Glittering Greetings, which is a 15 watt ceramic as well. I thought this might be glass. It turns out it is ceramic, so just know that because it looks in the picture like it could be a glass, but it is ceramic, it says on the on the brochure. So that one's pretty. Then nice. we have one that was a warmer of the month last holiday season. I want to say November or December. I can't remember which month. But Sparkling Snowman, he is an element warmer, but he does light up. The light in him does not warm the wax. The light is just an LED light for decoration, and the wax goes in the back. There's a few warmers of this style. I think we're getting a couple more as the season goes on. Spoiler alert. Um, but there's him. So you can't change the color he lights up in. He lights up white because that's the color of the LED in him. But there's that. So you put the wax in the back and then he lights up. So there's that. And he's got, kind of got the silver trim. Silver trim on his hat and scarf. Then Ho Ho Home. Take on holiday messes and eliminate seasonal stresses. Nice. Okay. Um, we have Tinselberry Hand Cream. Tinselberry was discontinued this fall winter catalog, which was a shame. It's like strawberry... Is there raspberry too? I can't remember. But strawberry and cinnamon. It's kind of a nice like festive, bit of a change on your normal holiday scent. But it, it will be available in hand cream. Then we have the holiday three pack of hand soaps. It is purchased as a three pack. So you can't buy individual soaps. They are purchased as three. But it's actually pretty handy because if you buy one or two sets of these, you're set for stocking stuffers for like all of your friends and coworkers. So this is tinselberry, eucalyptus wreath, and white amber and silk. You get one of each of the soaps. So tinselberry, yes, is strawberry, cranberry, cinnamon, and sweet sugar. So yeah, it's a spicy, fruity scent, kind of festive. Eucalyptus wreath is kind of just an all-purpose winter scent. It is fresh eucalyptus, juniper, and frosted mint. Very popular scent. Um, then we have white amber and silk. This one is really, really growing on me. It's very soft, cozy, and pretty, and perfect for the body care line. I love that. Um, in a soap, perfect. Warm amber, bergamot, and comforting cotton. If I could purchase the white amber and silk soap separately, I would. Um, but we can't. Then we have laundry, and this one I'm going all in on. Arctic Kiss Laundry Bundle includes one laundry liquid and then two small washer with tubs. And then you can also purchase as an extra the Scentsy Fresh Spray in Arctic Kiss. So in the bundle itself, you get the two washer with tubs and the laundry liquid. The Scentsy Fresh Spray Bottle here is separate, but I'm going all in, I'm getting all of it. <laughs> I love Arctic Kiss. It is Arctic Mint, Fresh Air, and van Vanilla Clouds. There's definitely honeydew in there as well. Um, it's just such a good, like, sweet, crisp, unexpected, unexpected holiday winter scent. Um, it's just really nice. Very unique, but very, very widely appealing, I think. Then we have, this is good too, I'm getting two of these to start with. Snow Kissed Cranberry Counter Clean. It's cranberries, White Balsam, and Sugared Woods, which sounds like a very classic standard holiday fair type scent. Um, Snow Kissed Cranberry is beautiful. It is like the most soft, sweet cranberry. Um, it's just it's just pretty. And the, the balsam here is not overly overt. It's just kind of a very soft, sugared, sweet cranberry. And it's beautiful. So in wax, the problem with the scent is it's very soft, like extremely light and not very long lasting. So in wax, as beautiful as it is, it's not a good performer. Um, I'm hoping counter clean, I can enjoy the scent without having to worry about scent performance. So. I'll be getting a couple of those. So Snow Kissed Cranberry, if you're missing Snow Kissed Cranberry, it's coming in Counter Clean. Um, then we have the item that I'm pretty sure is gonna sell out first. And I've been wrong about a few of my predictions on that. I thought Pumpkin Mickey would sell out quickly and he did not. Um, I think he's still available actually, as I'm filming this anyways. Um, but one thing that did sell out within hours on Harvest Launch was the Sunflower Fragrance Flowers. Those went within hours. Not They didn't even last a day, they were gone by morning. Um, I think these are going to be the same. 
and these are the radiant red poinsettia fragrance flowers they're beautiful what a pretty entrance decor piece that's what i use these for um bathroom shelf windowsill teacher gift teacher gift if you don't know if your kid's teacher has a warmer give them one of these suckers they don't need anything they just set this out and then when it's gone they can get rid of it um yeah with wax you have to know if they have a warmer and if they don't have a warmer do they want a warmer and then you have to buy them a warmer or it becomes a whole thing if you don't know if someone has a warmer fragrance flower fragrance flower is the way to go so the scents available for the fragrance flowers are cranberry candy cane sleigh ride which is kind of the balsam and orange one and vanilla barnwood so i will be trying to get my hands on a couple of these for sure um but yeah those are going to probably go quickly I do hope the stock levels are high enough to last for at least a few days. But if you do want these, I again, I would recommend being on at midnight because the fall version of these went within a few hours and they're still not restocked. They're going to be restocking sometime in October. And again, these may restock if they do sell out, but we don't know that for sure. And it may not be in time for gifting season. So there's that. That is one other thing to kind of note is that we've all that have ordered recently have experienced some shipping delays. Um, there was an official statement put out a little while ago that they're a bit behind on schedule on shipping. They're trying their best. They put out another statement here just recently that they are struggling to fill some warehouse positions. Um, and I think I can say that because it's, it's open to all consultants, so it's pretty much public knowledge. They're trying to fill some warehouse um, staffing stuff, but they're finding challenges, challenges with that. So, and of course, as we get into the holiday season, that is going to get probably more backlogged rather than less. So be aware and just if you're shopping for the holidays, maybe make your orders early. Let's say that you want your holiday wax and all of your holiday goodies for December 1st, because that's when you start celebrating the holidays. Um, maybe order them like first or second week of October so you get them by early December. If you're ordering holiday gifts, like just shop well ahead. Shop well ahead of when you think you're gonna need things because things are probably gonna get quite backlogged in the coming weeks, um, especially once the holiday goodies launch. So. Be aware of that. Thank you for your patience for everyone that is still waiting for orders. I know there's quite a few people that are still waiting on orders. I'm still waiting on a few myself. Um, and that is why your happy mail is delayed as well because these just came in yesterday. So yeah, I ordered those beginning of the month. So there's those, but yes, we're all in the same boat there. It's just gonna be a bit of a, uh, a waiting game for orders. So yeah, all I can say is order well in advance. If you want something for a certain date, just make sure you give yourself lots of lead time on that. And yeah, so there's that. And that is the holiday brochure. I really wanna know what you're looking forward to most from this brochure. Um, for me, as much as I love, like this warmer is so cute, but I don't have space for this warmer. I already have the gingerbread house. So I'm gonna get more of the bars because I love those. And I'm so st stocked on warmers, but I think I am gonna get the retro reindeer for the bedroom. And then I'm absolutely picking up the whole laundry set, a couple counter cleans, and a couple of these fragrance flowers as well. So that is my plan. And is it weird to be this excited about Christmas when there's like Halloween and like fall stuff behind me? A little bit, but here we are. Um, okay, I mentioned I was gonna talk about the Soar High Through the Sky Scentsy Brick. Again, this is a new scent, never been released before, Dumbo scent. There is another Dumbo scent um, called Circus Parade. It is like a mango, orange, kind of citrusy type scent. It's really, really nice. It's like a creamy citrus. That one I really enjoy too. Soar high in the sky. I almost passed this one up. It sounds like a fruity fresh type scent. Um, I can't remember the notes on this. Yes. Oh, it's so good though. I'm glad I got the brick in this. I am very glad. If you're a fruity lover, you need to get this. Okay. This one smells, and my friend Narina put this right. She got her brick a couple days before me. She's another consultant in Texas, a friend of mine. She got this a couple days before me and she's like, this smells just like beach daisy mixed with skinny dipping. And those are both great scents. And she's absolutely right. This smells like beach daisy mixed with skinny dipping. If you like skinny dipping, this is like an updated version of it. Um, yeah. And if you like beach daisy, this is a fruitier version of it. And less floral. It's a little bit citrusy, a little bit zingy, but it's mostly just kind of those same fruit notes that you get in Skinny Dippin'. So I think if you're a fan of fruity scents, you're really gonna like this. This is a bit less, I feel like Skinny Dippin' smells a little bit like 
90s, early 2000s. It just smells a bit like of the past. This is like an updated version of Skinny Dippin'. This is beautiful. I'm so glad to have a whole brick of it. I have not warmed it, so I can't speak to performance just yet. But I think if you like fruity, if you like the Tinkerbell bar um, that we had in the, in the, was it spring or summer? I think if you like sweet and sassy, the Tinkerbell bar, you're gonna like this. I think if you like Skinny Dippin', Beach Daisy, all those kind of fruity, kind of pretty scents. There's almost something pretty in the background here without being overly floral. So, love. Um, yeah, nice, solid, medium strength on cold. So I'm, I'm excited to warm this. I'll be warming this this weekend and I'll let you know in a what I've been warming video coming up how it did. But yeah, this will be available to everyone in brick form or to add in small bar form to your club um, on October 9th. So there's that. Cold sniff, two thumbs up from me. And while we're on the topic of when to uh, place orders to start celebrating the holidays, I want to know when you kind of start the holidays. So everyone has such different ideas of when this happens. I know for the US, a lot of people do it after Thanksgiving, which is I think the end of November for you guys. Um, so when do you start the holidays? Like when do you start bringing decorations out and start like kind of getting in this Christmas spirit? I would love to know. Um, for us, it's after Remembrance Day. So Remembrance Day in Canada is November 11th. And then after that, fair game. <laughs> I take the next day off and I pull out the totes and we start decorating. So that is kind of when I, that's when the holiday season kicks off for me is after Remembrance Day, like immediately after Remembrance Day. So yeah, it's kind of a tradition for me to book that day off the next day because you get Remembrance Day off because it's a stat holiday. And then I book the next day off if it's not already a weekend and then I, I have a long weekend to decorate. So that is what I do. So I would love to know when the holidays start for you and also what you plan on getting, if anything, from the holiday brochure. Other than that, hope you guys are having a great weekend. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.